Hi guys, I'm alive. Oh baby, we got some stuff to talk about. I just woke up. Can, can you tell I don't normally brush my hair? So much is going on in my life right now. I don't, oh my gosh. But first, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. I needed that. Let's get down to business. Okay, so let me give you a little update of my life. I haven't posted in literally two weeks. And I'm sorry, you guys. I have been really busy with work like really busy and then just like most of it is like when I come home for my next few days off I'm so exhausted that I have been sleeping all day and all night like like I've literally been sleeping for 12 plus hours I don't know what it is I think it's just all the mental and emotional stress that I go through and it's just a lot so I just make it up with sleeping like on my first day off I just had a 40 minute phone call with my sister and it was great okay so where was I? Oh, I didn't even get anywhere. Okay, I paid off my credit card for City, and I'm happy. I'm not touching that credit card ever again. No, I'm not touching it. The fact that it was a money transfer. Oh my gosh, my dog is looking at me through the window. I just drove home. The fact that it's a money transfer and it took me like eight months to pay it off because I just let it go. Embarrassing, very embarrassing. Also, my car is so dirty. I need to give it a car wash. Yeah, so that credit card is officially done. I will never be using that again. So I have <laughs> two more to do. So the next five months are going to be working hard to paying the next credit cards off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to share that journey with you guys. I might. I might not. I'm not sure. But this upcoming year is all about saving money and paying things off so I can be financially stable and getting my life back together. Cause it's really stressing me out, especially with my new car payment that is really expensive. That's the update for now. Um, I will be posting videos in the next few days. Today is my day off, so I will be recording videos so I can get them posted. I just really need to get back on the game of posting videos because that is what makes me happy. And I hate when I fall off the bandwagon every single time, but I'm really excited to finally have another credit card paid off and things are looking good. And I just got to keep praying and staying positive and working hard to paying things off because debt is no joke. It's really annoying and I'm really upset of myself, especially because my credit score went down and I'm trying to get it back up to 800. So we got a long ways to go, but I'm determined and motivated and happy and excited to get a groove on that again so um this is a short video obviously literally under four minutes i think i think i might just add a couple of clips to make it a little bit longer um but yeah that's it for this video city is done next is my capital one go inside enjoy this coffee and then i have a lot of cleaning to do today and laundry so that's my plan today after i record my videos this is a salted caramel cream cold brew if i didn't tell you guys I'm gonna go inside and enjoy the rest of my day. Oh, actually I'm gonna add to this. This is gonna be like a vlog. I have some books that I would like to show you because I did go shopping for books the other day and I'm really excited about them. So let's go do that. All right guys, I'm just gonna finish recording on my phone because I started recording on my phone and it's easier to import. All right, so I bought some books the other day because you know, I just can't stop. I'm a book lover. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and um, what I'm reading right now. So, got my Barnes and Noble bag. I saw this book on TikTok and I had to get it. I'm not really into poetry, but it just looked really interesting. And I picked up Pretty Boys Are Poisonous by Megan Fox. Her poetry, so good. And you know, I love celebrity stuff. <laughs> So I want to see what's going on. And I know it's really sad and heartbreaking, but I want to know what happened, you know? I bought It Doesn't Start With You. This is about um, trauma and how to heal yourself. How inherited family trauma shapes who we are and how to end the cycle. So I am all about my mental health and trying to fix the trauma that I've been through. Um, and this was highly rated um, and it was recommended by a therapist, so I'm definitely going to read this very soon. The first one that I'm actually reading right now is called The Body Keeps the Score. This was also recommended by the therapist, 
and it's really interesting. It's helping me understand a lot of things that the, my kids go through and things that I have gone through and like how your brain works with all this stuff. And it's so interesting. So if you guys want to learn like self-help about your trauma and whatnot, these two books are a great place to start with. So this is The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. So I also got The End Game and that's with the royal family. And a lot of people are speculating that Meghan and Harry wrote it, but I don't think they did. Um, it's in the other room and I don't feel like getting it. So that's what it looks like. Those are the books that I bought recently and I'm so excited to read them. I'm trying to get back on my reading game. I do have some time at work on Sundays that I can read. So that's really exciting. We do like a little book club and it's just real nice to help me get back into my reading. But right now I am reading Crescent City. I restarted it because last time I just flew through it and I think I DNF'd it to be honest. I'm, I don't remember. So I'm actually reading it and going through this series because the third book comes out pretty soon. I think in like January or something, somewhere around there. And I want to get it obviously because I love Sarah J Mass. I love the Akatar series um, and I want to get into this series so bad. I have the first two books. Um, I did just buy the Barnes and Noble special edition ones like look how beautiful you guys already know i bought these like a few a month ago i think so i'm trying to get through this i will be doing a vlog so stay tuned for that i'm about 200 pages in and it's like 800 pages so we're making progress really slow progress so i'm trying to read two books at a time that's what i'm doing and then i don't know if i told you guys i also bought iron flame and fourth wing by rebecca yaros this has been trending on TikTok and booktube and i really wanted to start it so i bought the big books um this is the first one this was like this took me forever to find i bought it from barnes and noble when it was sold out everywhere i don't know how i found it but this is like the first edition i think and then i just got iron flame like two weeks ago two weeks ago it just came in i pre-ordered it on amazon so i got like the black sprayed edges and I'm really excited, but I'm also sad because I want one that's signed. I want a signed copy, even though I literally haven't even read the book yet. But um, if I really love this book, this series, these two books, I will be um, buying the signed copy on eBay. I know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure there's a third book coming out as well. I'm getting into my fantasy era and I'm really excited because i think that's what i need i need some fantasy to get me through my stressful days at work so that is my little haul thanks for watching guys my hair is so messed up sorry I'm so yeah i am going to start my vlog for my reading and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye